Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing. So as you can tell from the thumbnail, or the title, or whatever, however I name this, um, we totaled a bass boat. It's not on video. Uh, we got in an accident in the dark. So I, even if I had the camera on, I mean, I, I didn't have the camera on, but even if I did have the camera on, you wouldn't see anything anyway because it was, you know, pretty much pitch black out when we, we uh, got in the accident. So I'll discuss the accident a little bit and then um, there is some fishing footage and then, I don't know, we'll come back and do more discussion. So here's what transpired. So it was dark. Um, we could launch the boats at six and idle speed up until 6.30. At 6.30, you could hammer down and run as fast as you want. And so we idled until 6.30. And even at 6.30, my boater didn't hammer down. I mean, it was still really dark out. And so we just bumped up the speed just a little bit. And, um, you know, he's looking, using his graphs and, and driving pretty safe. And then a couple boats passed us. And uh, he decided to kind of tuck in behind one of those boats so we could speed up some you've got a, a boat basically in front i mean a really really safe distance but you got a boat in front that if there's any logs or anything like that that guy will hit it well he didn't see the channel marker and we hit a uh, a big navigational buoy big green can at 60 miles an hour head on luckily we hit it head on had we hit it at any sort of slight angle it probably would have thrown us out of the boat, but the way we hit it, we hit it head on and actually went over top of it. And uh, we didn't really realize any of that initially on the impact. Um, discovering we went over top of it kind of came at the end of the day, but we went over top of it. It sheared off the trolling motor. So the Ultrex is gone. It's, you know, in the river someplace. The pan optics, the uh, Lowrance HDS Live, I think 12, that was shattered, and um, but we didn't sink. And the damage that you'll see near the end of the video doesn't even look that bad, but it's bad. Because you, what we don't see, because I didn't see it when I recorded, was the damage underneath the boat. So after the accident, we had no trolling motor, obviously, because it's gone, it's in the bottom of the, of the river. And we both made sure that we're fine. There's little bits of, you know, glass on things. And there's, um, you know, from like the fish finders and stuff like that. But the boat was floating. Neither one of us were seriously hurt. And um, so we just kind of idled over to a random cove and power pulled down and got to fishing as best we could. Neither one of us were really in the mood to fish anymore, though. So that's how we fished all day. We would drive to a random cove, power pull down or drift and just fish and then when we thought we covered an area as best we could then we'd put the life jackets back on again idle someplace else power pole down or drift and fish some more so it really hindered the way we could fish we couldn't really cover water the way we wanted to but it is what it is what are you going to do i mean the boat was floating but had some pretty gnarly holes in it again we didn't know how bad the underside was until the end of the day but throughout the day, like, it was hard to get up on pad. It, the, the engine was kind of sluggish. And we learned that at the end of the day. I mean, this, this crash happened, you know, a little after 6.30 in the morning. And we came out of the water at the end of the day at 4. And what we discovered was there's a huge hole in the lower unit. You'll see that at the end of the video. So I don't even know how we ran all day because there was no oil in this, you know, in the lower unit. It's gone. Um, but anyway, so here's the footage. Here's day one. Just start, we have no control, so just throw wherever the fuck you can throw. I mean, <laughs> if you can physically make the cast, just make the cast. <laughs> there we go. Now, I don't think you'll keep. Might keep a busy spot, but no, he won't even do that. Giants are. Oh, there might be some bigger ones though. He hit like a bigger one. <laughs> that thing hit like he was a monster. I hooked myself. There we go. Yeah. 
There we go. Ah, uh, he's little. <laughs> Getting fatter. Yeah. Feel free to throw right past me because I can't <laughs> control where we're spinning. Move that fast. It's crazy. There we go. I mean, that yeah, it feels decent actually. It's probably a drum then. He's actually he's just hooked weird. A spot? Yeah, that looks like a spot. That is a spot. He may keep. He is over 12. Awesome, sir. He's a spot. He yeah, is, he yeah, he's a he's, he's a spot. He's bloody as shit, but. <laughs> I don't see him. Nice Kentucky. All right, guys, so I was just doing a battery change and uh, Eric caught a fish. So, um, whoop. <laughs> so, uh, update, it is, uh, I don't even know what time, it's um, 9.15, and uh, he and I both have one now. Keep fishing. There's one. He's small. He's small. There we go. Big old bluegill. He smoked that thing too. <laughs> if he's a Kentucky, now nah, he's gonna be a little short. All right guys, so update 11.09. Eric and I both still have one. Keep fishing. There's another one. No. He's... He, he may keep if he's a spot. Yeah, he's not going to keep. Don't worry about it. He looked bigger. There we go. So there we go. He's not big, though. He's small. Don't worry about it. Oh, there's a fish. He's straight below the boat. There we go, fish. Stay down, stay down. This way you can hear that. I mean, he's a good one. Right there. Where are you? What the f is that? that? Striper. Can I put a f water? You want me to net it? So yeah, so I can get my bait back. A striper and a foot of water, son. Yeah, I've never caught a striper. Really? Yeah. You want a picture of it? I got it on the GoPro. That's actually really upsets me because I thought for sure I had a nice one. Try All right, guys. Updates 1249. Uh, just swapped out batteries again. We both still have one fish. Keep fishing. Yeah, I. Uh, this was my first year fishing on the front of the boat for the BFLs too. I did decent on uh, on the season opener. I took fifth on Hamilton, nice. and then the following week we had an ABA on um, Gardnell, and I took second on that. And then COVID kicked in. <laughs> Fishing well, and then no, no, you're. We're gonna put a big timeout on that. There we go. Probably not. He's probably just foul hooked. Oh, he's not foul hooked. He's actually a decent fish. Nice. There you go, dude. 
Nice, he got that thing good too, huh? There you go. Ate it the way you're supposed to. Thanks. Thanks for the net job, by the way. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. He's 15. Nice. Yeah, he's he's small. got to be a school of fish sitting over here since yeah. I mean, we caught several fish you know pretty quick succession I know that can't be the only keeper in fact there's another one that's if that's a bass that's a keeper and it's a white bass damn it <laughs> hurt my feelings again <laughs> I got it yeah Sounds like rain. Yes. Like actual rain. That is actual rain. <laughs> Maybe they'll fire up and go crazy really quick. Mm. I at least need the jacket. Yeah, I'm gonna get my jacket out too. Alright guys, update. It is uh like 210 ish. Um I've got two. Eric's got one. Keep fishing. I'm like, I'm not. You got a fish? Tiny fish? I don't know what's going on. Maybe I got a fish? Or just a weird crankbait? What's happening? No, I got a fish. Good one? No, I don't know if he's good. I have no idea what's going on. I don't think he's good. No, he's not good. Well, he might keep, actually. If he's a spot, he will. There you go. I have no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? He does it. Guys, this is uh, this like, is the I results. I needed. I don't. I don't like taking off here, and the, and just because we could have. So we hit I that thing square yeah. in the nose, I mean, I and then we had no idea like where, like what'll happen. But here's the uh, here's the lower unit. Huge hole in the lower unit. Yeah, me too. I, so. I, that's uh that's that's there's that. a giant hole in the lower unit and the boat underneath is all up too. so i'll uh i'll close this I, out I after we get weights john carroll three fish three alive gonna weigh 4.56 pounds 4.56 john tell us a little bit about it what was what was you thinking whenever you uh seen that right at the last second <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you've seen some crazy stuff in your life, so it, it couldn't have been that bad. I don't know, man. Like, uh, I can only yell can. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Can. Can. And I looked at him, and that was it. All right. Make sure who Bags go. Have, uh, bits of fiberglass or trolling motor interfaces yeah. and. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I think you've seen the trolling motor. No, I, we never, it was so fast. You shoot yeah. it off. It never shoot it off. Yeah. Like it, the bolts are just sliced perfectly. One fish, one alive for Eric Pinter, but he's got a story to tell. Do you have your GoPro on? No. Dang. It that was, it was hey, dark. That would have been great. Yeah, it wouldn't have been. <laughs> but it, just to hear the can. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. The, the, ex, can, the expletives. <laughs> 1.66, 1.66 rare. Well, it goes all the way down the whole entire bottom. And then the lower units broke. It's got a huge hole in it. The fact that we still ran with, there's a hole here. So there's no oil in there. I'm just like, man, it's running weird, but it's. It's still going. It's not as I was like. I'm losing. Did a little it continue speed. running or? Yeah, we ran all day. This we happened at 6:30 in the morning. We fished all day. No trolling motor. No front graph. No front graphs. So that was day one. Uh, ended day one in 17th place. Day two, I woke up. I was pretty sore. I still went and fished. Eric didn't fish. Obviously, his his boat was totaled, so he basically just stayed home. I drew a different boater and uh, that guy didn't want me having a camera with me, which was cool because I really wasn't in the mood to film anyway. So there is no day two footage. Caught a bunch of little fish, I only caught two keepers. 
So at the end of day one, I was in 17th place, you know, starting day two, right? But day two, we fished all day. The weather was pretty bad. It was windy, it was rainy. Uh, and I was already, you know, pretty uncomfortable, kind of like whiplash sort of feeling. So I fished as best I could, but I kind of didn't really want to be there. I would have much rather like stayed home and, you know, been cuddled up on the couch with the dog or whatever, but fished anyway. And uh, at the end of the day, I had two keepers. My boater had zero keepers. It was like a trailer weigh-in at the community center. So uh, instead of making him, you know, drive me to weigh-in with my two little guppies, I just released them at the boat ramp and uh, basically ended up day two with a, a zero. So, uh, but looking at the statistics, it wouldn't have really helped me anyway. I, I still would not have made uh, check range. Uh, I would have, I think I finished in like 22nd place, I think. But had I weighed, I would have finished in like 19th place. Like it, it didn't really make a difference. I had two little barely keeper spotted bass. Uh, so anyway, that's that guys. Um, not exactly how I wanted my Mr. Bass of Arkansas season to go. Certainly not how I wanted the Mr. Bass of Arkansas season to end, but there's always next year. So uh, anyway, and more tournament videos coming out with some of the other trails that I fish. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right down there. Looks like me holding a fish. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to drop any comments below. Again, the damage does not look nearly as bad as it actually was. Um, we truly dodged a bullet that day. So anyway, again, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, get out on the water, be safe, and go stick some lips.